For all but the shortest bike rides, you're gonna to need to take some stuff with you. At the bare minimum, a mini pump, a multi-tool, and an inner tube to help you fix any roadside mechanical problems. Yeah, and avoid having to walk home. Weirdly though, how you choose to carry that stuff is the subject of much debate. Do you use a saddlebag in training? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, always. Of course. Yes. No, no, I... Because... The best young Yeah, I have one at home, but I, I always forget to put it on, or so I, 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 I put my stuff in my back pockets. So, what are your options then? Well, firstly, the jersey pocket, or pockets. Now, if you are wearing cycling kit, the chances are that on your jersey, you will have pockets on your lower back, normally three of them. And so these are absolutely perfect for popping a mini pump, an inner tube, and a multi-tool in before you head out the door, and away you go. Now, this is particularly convenient, but there are downsides. Now, if you're going out for a reasonably long bike ride, you're gonna to wanna to take some food with you potentially quite a lot of food. So let's just put some of that in there. Do you have a mix of bars and gels? Yeah, a mix of bars and gels. Secondly, you're gonna to wanna to take another layer of clothing. And even packed down nice and small, it's still gonna take up a fair bit of room. And finally, in this modern era, without shadow of a doubt, you're gonna most likely wanna take your phone with you. So let's just pop that in there as well. Now, that is starting to feel like quite a lot of stuff, it must be said. It's still comfy, given that this is a nice, tightly fitting jersey, but it's not far off. It's starting to feel like a really massive bum bag. Matt, that's probably enough, enough food no, just now. One, just one more, because you can never be sure, mate. Just one more. Right, fair enough. As well as feeling like I'm wearing some kind of giant rucksack, when we've talked about carrying items in your jersey before, some of you have raised concerns about safety, specifically the idea of falling off when you're carrying a mini pump in your central pocket, therefore over your spine. Now, I've never actually heard of that happening, ever, no. but I guess it is more of a risk than attaching the pump to your bike, yeah. So, tuck your multi-tool and inner tubes neatly behind your saddle. In fact, heck, let's put two in. Whoa! And you can leave it there, so it's always with you. Unless, unless you happen to be lucky enough to own more than one bike, in which case you need to remember to take it off and swap it between them. Although I suppose you could actually just buy more than one saddlebag, but it seems like an extravagance. Mm. But what about the other downside, Sai? Now believe it or not, saddlebags can be just a little bit of a contentious issue. And there True. are people that think a saddlebag fitted to a nice, lean, fast race bike just looks a little bit out of place. And I must admit, I tend to agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it can, can't it? However, I think that is actually, that's cool. I would agree with you on this. This does look pretty sleek. That does fit the bill. That is cool. The other downside though is if you pack it poorly, you could end up with rattles or jiggles, neither of which are good. And so, what about the most important question, Si? Aerodynamics. Which is the most aero? The pockets stuffed with stuff or the humble saddlebag? Well, we consulted our aerodynamics experts over at our friends at Zip to answer this very question. And it was David Morse, the advanced development engineer, who was unfortunate enough to have to answer this question for us. Yeah, sorry Dave. He said that although they've not actually tested this particular scenario in a wind tunnel, which I can't quite imagine yeah. why, he said that he would lean towards the saddlebag as being the fastest option. And then furthermore, he then went on to say that actually, if a small saddlebag like this one, and we stress the word small, actually then affords you the luxury of being able to ditch your jersey and put on a skin suit instead, then it would be an absolute slam dunk for the saddlebag. So perhaps counterintuitively, the humble saddlebag is gonna be, well, the option of choice for speed merchants. Although we must stress, it needs to be an aero one. Uh, that was to me by surprise, you know. Yep, the half water bottle. Neatly packed and then stored inside one of your water bottle cages. Which admittedly means that you will take one less water bottle with you, but probably then just good for short rides. The advantages? Well, arguably aesthetics, if that's your thing. But very much like the humble saddlebag, it's always with you. Doesn't it fill up with water? Only if it rains. 
So, so what's, the, what's the point? It just looks pro and neat. And finally, do you use a saddle bag in training? No, I use a bottle, bottle cage. I think it looks more, more sexy. That is just down to the looks, exactly, yeah. What if you need even more space, though? Well, we'll admit, we are into uncharted territory here. We don't often use frame bags or bar bags or panniers, although all absolutely have their place. But we think that unless you're doing the most epic self-supported ride, if you're going to be home before the end of the day, then you probably don't need that extra space. No, but check this out. This is former Giro d'Italia winner rider Hijdal's tool bag. And yes, you have spotted two chain link removers. He takes those on every ride too. Was there though, Matt, anything to fix a broken handlebar? Not that I spotted, no. Oh, how did, how did he hold that up in flip-flops? Skills. Anyway, ultimately, how you carry your stuff on your ride will depend on how long you're riding for and how much stuff you like to carry with you. Yep. Short rides, I think jersey pockets. Yep. Medium rides, I'd go for a saddlebag. And then on long rides, following car. Fair enough. But there is no real wrong or right. No. Actually, hang on a minute, Matt. There is definitely a wrong. Have a look at this clip. Do you use a saddlebag in training? No. <laughs> where, do you, where do you put your spares? I don't take any. <laughs> You've got, always got a support vehicle? No, 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 but uh, I always rely on my good luck. <laughs> Bobby! Bobby. You need to subscribe to GCN. You can do so by clicking on the globe. Not just Bobby, the rest of you haven't. You might already subscribe. But you never know. You never know. Right, if you're after more content, then how about these two videos, which are very relevant. Firstly, how to pack your saddlebag to stop rattles and jiggles. That one is just down there. And for five essential roadside fixes, which you will need to know, click just down there. Remember, no rattles or jiggles.